Halili, pansamantala, kina Director Lisa at Mark. Ipagpapatulog po natin ngayon ang usapin tungkol sa recruitment in government. Perfect ang topic na ito para sa mga nagbabalak na pumasok sa government. Last Thursday ay sinimulan na natin ang four-part series na ito kung saan ang pinag-usapan natin ay kung ano ang qualification standards or yung tinatawag natin sa government na QS. Nalaman natin na ang QS or qualification standards ay binubuo ng apat na elements, education, experience, training, and eligibility. Last week, education ang ating diniscuss at nakasama po natin si Divine Madrid ng HRPSO. At upang ipagpatuloy ang topic ng QS, pag-uusapan naman natin ngayon ang tungkol sa dalawa pang requirements na hinahanap sa isang aplikante. Ito yung tinatawag na experience at training. Ihanda nyo na ang inyong mga katanungan. Huwag kayong bibitiw, magbabalik kami matapos ang ilang sandali. Marami na rin tayong napagsamahan. At kapag maraming kailangang pag-usapan, kailangan natin itong upuan. So join us for a chat over lunch on Facebook Live. Samahan kami sa Non-Chat with CSC. Thursdays at 12pm. Only at the CSC Facebook page. Ella Zagala or RIA, Supervising Human Resource Specialist, Human Resource Policies and Standards Office. Good afternoon, RIA. Good afternoon, Director Tess. Okay, bago natin pag-usapan ng experience and training requirement, bumalik muna tayo kung ano nga ba ang tinatawag na QS or Qualification Standards at bakit ito mahalaga. Okay. Ang Qualification Standards ay ang minimum and basic requirements for positions in the government at nagsisilbing basic guide in the selection of employees and in the evaluation of appointments to all positions in the government. Ang QS ay may apat na elements tulad ng nabanggit ko na kanina. Education, experience, training, and eligibility. Yan po yung dapat nating tandaan every time po uh, may gusto mag-apply sa government kasi yan po yung kailangan na requirement na dapat i-comply ng sino mang um, nagnanais na makapasok sa pamahalaan. Ang focus natin for this episode ay experience and training. First off, Ria, okay. you are with what division sa HRPSO? Uh, right now, I'm connected with the Qualification and Selection Standards Division. Ah, okay. Kaya swak na swak yung mga <laughs> didiscuss natin ngayon yes, hapon po. because you handle, you deal with questions and issues uh, relative, relative to, to QS. QS. The review, uh -oh. basically yung pagre-review po if it's still tama mm -hmm. o angkop pa ba ito sa panahon natin mm -hmm. ngayon. Mm -hmm. And we also review yung mga request ng agencies ah, relative okay. to uh -oh. their kung gusto nilang magkaroon ng specific or higher um, QS, QS ah, okay. para sa positions nila. So, sa inyo pala dumadaan ng mga ganun queries. Opo. Okay. <laughs> Ria, anong klaseng experience ang maaaring i-consider sa ilalim ng QS? Okay. So, basically, kapag sinabi po nating experience, we refer to the previous jobs mm -hmm. either in government or private sector, whether mm -hmm. full-time or part-time. Okay. okay. So, pwede palang... Uh, Kung mag apply ka sa government, pwede i-consider yung experience mo sa private, private sector. Yes. Not necessarily na dapat nakalag ka ng experience from the government. Opo. Provided okay. that it is relevant. Ito okay. po yung madalas nating nakikita sa publication. Uh -oh. Relevant uh -oh. experience. Uh -oh. So kapag sinabi po natin relevant experience, mm -hmm. we mean that your previous duties mm -hmm. and responsibilities are aligned mm -hmm. to the duties na nire-require po ng position na gusto nating applyan. Okay. So, pagdating naman po sa relevant experience, may apat po tayong consideration ah, dito. Ano so, the first one is kapag na-acquire po natin ang relevant experience through job order mm -hmm. or contract of service, mm -hmm. provided po that is covered by a MOA or Memorandum of Agreement or uh, a contract, mm -hmm. maari po siyang makonsider for meeting the experience requirement. Yung mm -hmm. pangalawa naman po, is yung experience or relevant experience acquired 
uh, through volunteer work on mm. a full time basis so, maari so, rin uh, pero full time dapat yung volunteer yes, work mo volunteer work on a full time basis uh-huh. and the third one kapag po um uh, experience na acquire mo as a first level employee mm-hmm. ay magagamit mo po ito for when you apply for positions in the second level provided that they are functionally related or mm-hmm. they belong to the same occupational group the same functional group mm-hmm. can Halim- you give us an example opo, yeah. halimbawa nito ay let's say i am an administrative assistant mm-hmm. uh, and i belong to the cashiering group or budget oh. office oh, you admin assistant is a mm-hmm. first First Kasama level position. Nabibilang sa tinatawag nating first, first level, level position. positions. So, kung meron pong vacancy na second level position, mm-hmm. uh, halimbawa po sa treasury office, mm-hmm. so, yung experience ko po na na-acquire being an administrative assistant may be used when I apply for the experience requirement doon sa, let's say, um, revenue collection officer mm-hmm. position. Mm-hmm. Bakit po? Because they belong to the same occupational group which is under the finance sector. Okay. So, same functional same, group. Opo. So basically, magkaka, ano siya, connected. Oo, hindi lihis yung na-acquire mo experience dun sa position na gusto mo sana yes, apply. Yes, opo. Okay. And lastly, ang relevant experience rin po na na-acquire through designation. Um, as okay. long as meron po itong office order or uh-huh. office memorandum, uh-huh. maari rin po siyang magamit for uh-huh. meeting the experience requirement. Example to you, please. Okay, so designation naman, halimbawa po, you are asked to do a certain job uh, for a short period of time. Mm-hmm. Um, that is on top of your usual duties. Mm-hmm. So, halimbawa, na-designate ang isang tao bilang um, caretaker, office caretaker, mm-hmm. or officer in charge, mm-hmm. maaari niya itong yung experience dito, maaari niyang magamit kung mag apply niya siya mm-hmm. for positions requiring supervisory experience. Mm-hmm. Minyari, mm-hmm. kailangan ng certain number of hours na managerial experience. Yes. Pwede niyang magamit, uh, magamit Basta yung... meron tayong evidence requirement at okay. ito po yung office orders. Kaya mahalaga po yung mga evidence requirements natin. Kaya, Tinatabi uh-oh. natin Kaya yan. Kaya tinatago <laughs> niyo po dapat yung mga office orders, yes. especially those which designate you mm-hmm. um, or, or, or assign you to a specific uh, task or oh, I see mga ganda mm-hmm. yes or other tasks mga special projects oh, okay. to head a special to project handle. pwede rin yun okay okay, okay. Uy, ano naman yung kailangan i-submit na documents to show na nag-gain mo tong experience na to ah okay so on top of the usual um, requirements kapag mm-hmm. mag-a-apply po sa mm-hmm. isang government office ano mm-hmm. po um, kailangan po ninyo mag-submit ng certification mm-hmm. uh, basically ano lang naman po ito it which states yung job responsibilities mm-hmm. ninyo as certified by the agency HR officer or if in case mm-hmm. the HR officer is not available any authorized official or signatory mm-hmm. doon sa previous agency mo or your immediate supervisor someone who oh. can attest na pinerform mo talaga itong oh. function na ito and this is related oh. to the duties and responsibilities doon sa um, position that you are eyeing Uh-oh. If you're coming in from a different agency, tapos mag-apply ka sa ibang agency, yung certification dapat manggaling dun sa agency kung saan ko na-obtain yes. yung experience yes. requirement. Uh-huh. And the documents all have to be original? Yes, but okay. original po kailangan uh, sign uh, po. Sign. Ng, ang importante is sign. Sign. <laughs> okay. um, authorized no. officials. Ah, okay, HRMO or kasi naman yung authorized yes. official. Uh, natalakay na natin Ria, yung tungkol sa experience, mm-hmm. natalakay naman natin yung tungkol sa training. Alright. Sige, pag sinabi bang training, ito yung mga na-attendan natin seminars, workshops, yung ba yung tinutukoy sa training requirement? Ah, okay, partly correct po ito. Uh, pag sinabi po kasi nating training, maari po tayong mag-refer sa dalawa. It can be formal training or non-formal. Yung mm-hmm. katulad nga po ng nabanggit, the formal training is ito po yung regular classroom setup mm-hmm. wherein there is a facilitator and mm-hmm. group of learners. Mm-hmm. Pag non-formal naman, it can be more personalized yung mm-hmm. approach niya. Mm-hmm. Pwede siyang mag- it could be between a supervisor and the employee through mm-hmm. coaching or mentoring. Mm-hmm. And kumbaga yung non-formal po are, are other learning and development interventions mm-hmm. uh, such as job rotation, mm-hmm. yan, shadowing or um, on the job, mm-hmm. pwede rin po siyang mm-hmm. makonsider as training. Mm-hmm. Kasi part ito ng learning and development intervention mo, as long as this is indicated in your IDP. Ano yung IDP? Yung yeah. individual development plan. Kasi mm-hmm. ito po yung mag-i-ensure 
sa isang empleyado na kaya mong i-perform yung mga duties and responsibilities ng position. Kaya, uh, ang bawat isa po ay mayroong IDP. Mm -hmm. Bawat government employee. Yes, meron siyang individual, individual development, development plan or career plan mm -hmm. na naka-anchor naman doon sa agency learning and development mm -hmm. plan. Kung ano yung priorities ng agency mm -hmm. yes. sa pagdi-develop ng mga, ng kanilang mga tao. employees. Yes. May ano, tanong ako, ano yung shadowing na sinasabi na nabanggit mo kanina? Uh, yes, Shad shadowing for example yeah. naman po kung ikaw ay currently let's say na reassign ka mm -hmm. or bago ka sa isang organization or unit, um, you may be partnered mm -hmm. sa isang senior doon sa unit na yon mm -hmm. para ma, 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 ma yung what you call this, ma ka mm -hmm. no? yung ma-immerse ka doon sa culture or mm -hmm. work culture doon sa trabaho kung paano mm -hmm. mo gagawin yung isang mm -hmm. trabaho. And that's considered non-formal non non training. Yung mga conventions, sa, saan papatak yan? Sa conventions po conventions. Uh, can also be considered pero if it has something to do with yung planning, mm -hmm. planning workshops, mm -hmm. hindi siya considered um, ah. for meeting the Training requirements. requirements. Okay. Oh, ito yung clarification natin. Okay. Together with, if you are part of the secretariat, mm -mm, or ah, kasama hindi yun. rin yung kasama, or halimbawa, oh. ikaw yung nag-act as learning service provider, or ikaw yung facilitator, ah, okay. hindi rin siya kasama, hindi, hindi siya counted. Yun. So, dapat ikaw talaga yung Ay, participant. participant. Ikaw oh. yung naka-acquire nung, directly okay. nag-acquire ka ng um, learning and development oh, intervention. intervention. Maliwanag po yun na pag kayo yung nag-conduct ng training, hindi ninyo pwedeng ibilang yung training hours na kinundact ninyo mm -hmm. as part of your training uh, credits yes. or credit. At kung secretariat rin, hindi, hindi rin kasama. <laughs> hindi ba yung maibilang? Yes. Kasi, kasi kailangan, uh, ano eh, focus ka dun sa learning. Kasi may iba kang no? function in yes. having served as secretariat. Yes. Wow. Okay. Ria, saan maaaring makuhang formal trainings, kailangan ba sa CSC lang yun? Uh, not necessarily. Mm -hmm. In fact, maaari po tayong maka-acquire ng mga mm -hmm. trainings uh, sa any accredited, um, CSC accredited, mm -hmm. ano po, learning and development institutions. Uh, at maaari mm -hmm. po tayong kumuha sa mga government training institutions. So, hindi lang limited sa CSC yes. accredited training institutions? Opo, hindi lang, ma, hindi lang sa CSC or CSC accredited. Mm -hmm. In fact, maaari din po tayo kumuha ng training sa non-accredited CSC. Mm -hmm. uh, as long as, as ito pong private institution na ito offers highly specialized or highly technical nature ng training mm -hmm. and that they are internationally acclaimed to beat the global standards mm -hmm. of excellence in training. Mm -hmm. So aside po dito, maaari rin po tal uh, tayong kumuha ng training sa mga CHED uh, recognized institutions as uh, Center of Excellence and Center of Development. Pati rin po sa mga foreign institutions, may mga nag-offer mm -hmm. din po ng mga trainings. Mm -hmm. So as long as um, basically basta partner ng CSC in the development of our civil servants, Mm -hmm. consider po ito. Okay. We've had an interesting discussion on experience and training. Magbabalik po ang lunch chat. Tayo ulit sa lunch chat. We'd like to greet our live viewers, si Jelay, Dexter Trinidad, si Gab Leonin, um, Shalin Salundat, Maricor, ano, how do we pronounce this? Alaj, Ala, Queen Noreen Mendoza, Tony Rivera, Alisa Joy, at si Maika Manokso. Welcome po sa lunch chat. <laughs> Balik po tayo sa discussion natin. Nasaan na ba tayo? Nasa training. Yes. Tama. Um, considered part of middle management ng division chief positions, tama yes, Maria? Yes, ano yung QS for division chief position? Ang requirements naman po ng training kapag ka ikaw ay division chief or any comparable um, mm -hmm. position would be 40 hours na po 
mm-hmm. of supervisory and management L&D interventions. So, mas mataas na yung mm-hmm. uh, training requirement niya. Medyo retrogress tayo. Pag entry level, ang training requirements usually ay? Magsa-start po. If it's an entry level position, mm-hmm. usually none. Ah, okay. None yan. Wala muna. Kasi Kapag, baka ito yung mga fresh graduate. Opo, pwede ko yung consider. So, no, no training mm-hmm. or no experience mm-hmm. required. Pero kapag yung certain position na yun, mm-hmm. nagpo-progress na, mm-hmm. um, ideally or generally, meron mm-hmm. din po tayong progression mm-hmm. when it comes to experience mm-hmm. but, and training. Mm-hmm. So, nagsistart tayo sa one year mm-hmm. and then four hours. So, one goes up the yes. organizational ladder. Tumataas rin po yung requirement. requirement. So, sa division chief position, sa okay, division chief ay, position, sa 40 hours okay. of supervisory and management that would training. That equivalent to what? Halos one week na ng training ba? Opo, but Kung these are years. undertaken um, from the last five years. So, ah, okay. parang a konti, kumbaga, Uh-oh. actually, konti pa nga yun, ano, if it's yung last five years. So, mm-hmm. maa-acquire naman siya talaga. Okay. So, um, training requirement for division chief positions um, is 40 hours. Mm-hmm. Uh, they have to log in 40 hours of training. Uh, for executive or for second level executive and managerial positions, ba? magkaiba rin ba yung training yes, requirement? Yes, actually, mas mataas na po tayo ah, okay. um, when it comes to executive managerial positions. Mm-hmm. We require them to have at least 120 hours of supervisory mm-hmm. and management learning and development interventions. Mm-hmm. So, yung ratio naman po nito, actually, pwede pong mag-request ang mga ahensya. Mm-hmm. Um, po pwede po nating hatiin yung 108. 120 hours can be broken down into technical and supervisory mm. management. Pero kailangan, mas matas pa rin po yung supervisory oh. management. Ah, okay. ano po? May ano ba? May ratio uh, na required well, or pinapalo? Well, generally, kung, kung wala pong request Mm-mm. yung agency, it's Mm-mm. 120 hours. Ito po yung uh, legal basis na ginagamit Mm-mm. natin. Pero kapag nag-request po si agency, kung Mm-mm. gusto niya, Dapat? let's say 80-40, pwede rin po. Uh-oh. Kasi, it's the agency who can mm-hmm. um, best do you, sila po yung makakapagsabi uh-huh. kung uh-huh. ano yung need nila uh-huh. or depending also on the uh-huh. they can nature just of the position. The kind of, uh, the kind mm-hmm. of uh, employees yes, that po. they would be needing for yes. the vacant position. Ano, anong pwedeng isubmit or ipakita na isang job applicant bilang supporting document ng kanyang na-acquire na training? Yes, so ang maaari po nating isubmit ay ang mga training certificates so mm-hmm. katulad rin po nung uh, mga office orders natin ano po, oh, okay. kailangan tinatabi rin ninyo yung inyong mga training, training certificate and from time to time mag update kayo sa inyong mga PDS yes. or personal data sheet oh. para hindi na kayo hindi nyo na kumbaga aalalahanin ano nga ba yung na-attendan so, kong training so, so para, para laging updated or up to date uh-oh, yung para, PDS para pag may biglang naging opening alam yes, mo na ready na Ready ka sa, <laughs> Ready na sa application. Na, kukwenta mo na, ay, kulang pa ako para mag yes. I'm eyeing a uh, managerial position mm-hmm. and I need 120 hours of training. I will have to check my training requirement, uh, my training uh, seminar, and mm-hmm. uh, anything yep. that I've attended for the past five, five years, years and see if I meet the, I'm ready with the 120 requirements, 120 requirements. Yes. Um, sa QS, Ria, minsan ay nakasaad roon sa experience and training requirement na work experience relevant to the position or mm-hmm. training relevant to the position. Sino ba ang magdedetermine kung ang isang experience or training ay tumutugon sa hinahanap ng ahensya? Okay, it's usually the HRM officer mm-hmm. who would assess yun pong if, if yung, yung required, uh, if your QS based on the PDS mm-hmm. na sinabit more and other documents, uh, yung HRMO po ang mag-assess nito. If mm-hmm. it is functionally related, mm-hmm. doon po sa duties and responsibilities naman na nakasaad doon sa position na gusto mong applyan. Mm-hmm. Kaya nga po, ganun din. Doon sa pinanggalingan mo, yung dating HR mm-hmm. naman ninyo, ang mm-hmm. mag-certify na ang mga ginagawa mo ay related rin mm-hmm. doon sa um, position na gusto mo rin apply. Oh, kaya it would help kung masinsin ka sa records. Yes. Oh. So, <laughs> kailangan talaga. Especially sa... Hindi mo basta-basta sa... itatago na lang. <laughs> oh, eh, ano na lang. Pwede gagawin scratch oh, paper. Isusok-sok na lang kung saan yung mga training certificates mo. Please log on or hold on to your training document. Yes. Kasi mahalaga po yan. You wouldn't know kung kailan mo siya kakailangan. Yes. yes. Meron po tayong questions from, from our viewers from Dri 
lumalawon. Ma'am, halimbawa, naging experience sa private school ay 10 years as school director. Anong position as head teacher po ang makukwalify sa public schools? Okay. For head teacher, may specific po kasi tayo mm -hmm. qualification requirements no, in terms of education, mm -hmm. uh, training, experience, and, and eligibility. So, if Galing siya sa private, private school no, po, 10 no? years. Uh, siguro po para mas mas masagot po namin kayo eh. uh -oh. kasi hindi tayo pwedeng kumbaga uh -oh. uh, give up to, to give yung yung uh, clear cut answer clear cut answer as of the moment but we would appreciate po if you could give us a call or give us uh, send us an email so we could uh, assess para po mas maibigay rin po ninyo sa amin yung detalye ng inyong qualifications mm -hmm. at nang sa gayon po ay mai-align natin siya or mai-align natin maging doon responsive sa responsive po yung kanilang sa QS, uh, ng okay. head teacher position sa public schools. Later po, ibibigay po ni Ria yung contact details. Mm -hmm. um, in the meantime, we move to the question of Margo Valencia Mauricio. Hello ma'am, paano po kung entry level lang ang papasukan sa government? For example, IT Officer 1 and course po natapos ng college ay BSIT 4 years. Pero yung previous work experience sa private sector ay BPO. Mm -hmm. Okay lang po ba yun, since entry level lang naman po ang papasukan? IT Officer 1 is, okay, so magdidepende pa rin po ito doon sa duties and responsibilities noon pong position, doon po sa agency na gusto po ninyong uh, pasukan. So, usually makikita naman po natin kung ano yung requirements, kung ano yung mm -mm. Uh, specific po na hinahanap mm -mm. doon sa isang position mm -mm. kapag nagkaroon ng publication. Mm -mm. So, mm -mm. basically doon pa lang po ay ma-assess na po natin kung yun pang ating um, mga requirements mm -hmm. ay tugma doon mm -hmm. sa hinahanap ng position. Mm -hmm. Saan yung publication nakikita? Okay. That can be seen sa website ng agency. Website ng agency. Na nakalagay doon, naka-explicit po na ini-indicate ng agency yung apat. Mm -hmm. Education, experience, training, and, and eligibility, eligibility requirement. requirement. Uh, ano pa? Skip po. Maraming salamat Ms. Ria uh, <laughs> para sa iba pang katanungan about QS at selection and appointment policies. Saan po maaring makipag-ugnayan? Sino yung kanina si yung ating uh, inquiry about the, uh, head, about the head teacher position? Teacher position. Oh, we would appreciate po and for, for other concerns relative to QS or policies, paari po ninyo kaming tawagan sa 931-4144 or you can also send us an email at hrpso.qssd at csc.gov.ph. Maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat, Ria. Thank you po sa lahat po ng tumutok sa lunch, lunch chat muli. Don't forget na maaari ninyong mapanood ang aming mga nakaraang episodes sa video section ng CSC Facebook page. We would also like to thank HRPSO, um, Airport, the Examination Placement and Placement Office for the use of this room, and IRMO ITV and our janitorial staff for helping with the setup. Abangan ang mga susunod na episodes ng ating Recruitment in Government Series 101. Uh, May 2, we'll be tackling policies on eligibility. Sa May 9 naman, policies on selection and appointment. All very interesting topics. Stick around to watch our announcement. Maraming, hap, mara, maraming salamat at magandang hapon po sa inyong lahat.